Hello friends, welcome to my kitchen. This as you can see are pop the mash. That is pop the fish. Today I'm going to cook this with mustard paste and tomato and just a little bit of other spices. First of all, I shall just sprinkle some salt, some turmeric, a little bit of flour or you can use rice powder and just rub it on my fish. These are my only ingredients like as you can see this is mustard paste uh, like a 2 teaspoon mustard ground to a fine paste with half inch ginger and 2 flakes garlic. Then this is uh, fresh coriander, fresh chili, one chopped uh, tomato, then my fish, then turmeric, nigella seeds as you can see I'll take a little bit from here, then mustard oil and obviously salt to taste. Now I shall turn on the flame as you have seen I have turned on my flame. I shall pour some mustard oil into this pan and just a little bit of mustard oil here as well. Papta mash tends to purse a lot while frying. Hence, like you know, I added the flour and the little bit of mustard oil now. So that like I am safe while frying it. My oil is getting heated. I shall rub this once more and then add to my pan. Yeah, it's getting fried but I'm not going to go near it now. There is no choice. I have to go near it now. So what I shall do first of all, I shall just turn off the plate and carefully turn this. Yeah. I turn this. Now I shall turn on my plate again. My fish is done. And now I shall remove it. I removed my fish. As you can see it's well fried. And whatever oil remains I'll be using only that. I use this plate only for fish. And now I shall add a little bit of Nigella seeds. First I shall add the I have lowered the flame and now I shall add a little salt to this. Cover and cook for a while. Tomatoes are cooked. Now I shall add the mustard of paste. I shall add the tomato and then fry on a low flame. I shall cover and cook till the oil separates. Yeah, this is almost done, right? I shall add a little salt. I'll be careful because I added a little to the tomatoes and I also added a little while grinding the mustard to a paste to remove its bitterness. Now I shall add water. I prefer to add warm water to my curries. You may add a little Kashmiri mix for color but uh, like I'm not going to use it because it's very hot. I shall just 
circle for one skip chili. Now I shall reduce the flame and very carefully add my fish to the curry. I shall let it simmer. You have to handle the pabla mash very carefully. My fish is done. Now I shall sprinkle some coriander and then one fresh chili and I shall turn off flame and keep it covered for about a minute before transferring it into a serving bowl. So I have to be very careful while transferring. Well friends, my papda is ready to be served. It goes best with uh, plain rice. Keep watching, keep making and keep sharing the videos and do subscribe to my channel Rashmi Simple Food Delights for more. Till we meet next. Bye-bye.